I'll tell you, there's all kind of stories. You know, it could have been, they say, found, made in Germany. They say made in, in uh, the Mayas made it. They say Atlanteans made it. They say it was brought from people from the star people. So where it really comes down to is, is more mystery than there is truth. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. As pieces of art, crystal skulls are impressive creations. Experts agree the most famous crystal skulls were carved from single blocks of quartz, most likely from Madagascar or Brazil. The craftsmanship of these skulls is sophisticated, leading mainstream researchers to believe that they were made by artists in Germany. But when these skulls were first discovered, people stated that they were Mesoamerican relics predating the Columbian age. Some even claimed that the skulls could be as much as 36,000 years old. Today these claims are dismissed, but in their time they were taken quite seriously. Are crystal skulls something more than artistic masterpieces? To answer this question, we'll need to look at the most famous crystal skull and the bizarre, contradicting stories of its discovery. Here's where it gets crazy. The most famous crystal skull is known as the Mitchell Hedges skull, and according to its alleged discoverer, Anna Mitchell Hedges, it is no ordinary crystal. Anna claimed that she discovered this skull in 1924 while at a Maya excavation site in Belize with her father, the British explorer F.A. Mitchell Hedges. F.A. Mitchell Hedges was known as an international adventurer and a man with a tendency to make extravagant claims. Historians believe the man may have actually purchased the skull in advance and hidden it for his daughter to find as a birthday present. Yet neither Anna nor the media handled the story as one of an ordinary gift. Instead, the skull was presented as evidence of a civilization that predated the known history of Mesoamerica. And these claims persist today, despite fairly extensive research by experts in Mesoamerican history, the study of quartz, and engineering. So what are the claims exactly? Some proponents of New Age spiritual practice believe the crystal skulls, regardless of their pedigree, may be useful tools for scrying, seeing into the future, or meditating. Since the conspiracy theorists who believe crystal skulls are supernatural generally ignore the scientific conclusions that contradict their beliefs, their theories are not hindered by the burden of proof and quickly spin into intricate, bizarre tales. First, there's the belief that there are, somewhere in the world, 13 crystal skulls left by anyone from Mayan elders to Atlantean priests or denizens of the Hollow Earth. Second, that these skulls contain some sort of vital information for our planet, and this information could be accessed either by bringing the skulls together in a specific pattern, or by the acts of people who were born to seek out these skulls. These are all fascinating stories, but the evidence proves they have little basis in fact. Experts who have examined the skulls have proven that the carvings show evidence of tools used recently in Europe, rather than in some mythic temple before the dawn of modern man. Yet the crystal skull enthusiasts claim that the Mitchell Hedges skull changes color, emanates sound and psychic impressions, and generates hot or cold sensations when touched, all while remaining at the same constant temperature. These alleged effects have not been proven by scientists, but still the debate continues. For people who really believe that crystal skulls are supernatural, the findings of researchers and scientists are, at best, misled. Yet with so much evidence piling up to contradict the Mitchell Hedges claims, it's difficult to take their story at face value. Did F.A. Mitchell accidentally inspire a new age phenomenon when he tried to give his daughter an amazing birthday gift? Or are the fans of Crystal Skulls correct when they claim there's something they don't want you to know? Where it came from, you know, you know, I think it came from somebody with great intelligence, greater than what we have today. And where is that at? Well, that's that's something we'll find out. I think it's, it's going to be the knowledge is coming out now, so I think we will find that out pretty soon. <laughs>